bit of a talk. A pillow talk. A talk where we talk about pillows. No, but seriously. Let's have a pillow talk. Because one of my biggest things with camping that I always struggled with was being comfortable. That being said, I've gone through four sleeping pads, uh, just trying different options. And I've also gone through four different pillow options. So, let's get to it. The first pillow I had, I took on the Appalachian Trail with me. And that would be this. This old army pillow. It weighs 9.8 ounces. It's filled with like cotton balls that you would get out of a, you know, medical kit kind of thing. That's what it's filled with. Um, and honestly, I really liked it. Um, what I ended up doing is, it used to be a lot fluffier than this, but I ended up taking out uh, some of the cotton and sort of just tying it up in the field because that's where I did it at. And uh, that way I could take it, I could fold it over like this and use it like this. And honestly, it was comfortable. It was the most comfortable pillow I had when, you know, camping. The issue is, is I guess the size. I don't know, it's kind of inconvenient to really pack into itself. And it weighs 9.8 ounces. And after going through my gear, having a pillow... It's something I wanted, but I really wasn't willing to carry this big thing with me. Next, I got the Coconut, Coconut, Cocoon Hyper Light Air Core Travel Pillow. Now this thing, um, out of all the pillows I've gotten, weighs the lightest at 2.4 ounces. And it's okay. But, I didn't really like it. The material on this is just kind of a, it's a sill nylon material. And my head just, honestly, it just would slip right off of it. Um, the ends were tapered and if you weren't like right in the middle, you would just slide, your head would just go right off. A simple solution for this would have been probably wrapping it in a t-shirt or something. I don't know, but maybe that would have worked, but it, it just it just wasn't that comfortable, to be honest with you. So this one, even though it's lightest and smallest, I just didn't like it. So I explored around a little bit more and came across the Sea to Summit. Uh, Arrows Pillow Premium. This is the regular size. I didn't really see the need to get a large or deluxe. Um, that's just more weight. But this comes in at 3.7 ounces. It's pretty nice. Um, honestly, I will probably still use this pillow. That is a definite. It is really light. And it actually worked really well in my hammock, believe it or not. But I just didn't have the comfort that I wanted with it. Um, if I tried sleeping on my side, I felt like my neck was a little kinked. Or it was comfortable if you're a back sleeper, like if you can just lean back. Um, we sat and watched a movie all uh, in a tent during a kind of a snowstorm once, and I just I leaned back on this, and it was nice. So, though I like it, it just wasn't the comfort I was looking for, which leads me to my next pillow, which honestly, I'm just in a really good mood today. The sun's shining, it's in the upper thirties. And I went to REI, I bought some things and of course walked out with a little bit more than I wanted. <clears throat> and I got, this caught my eye. It was an REI um, pillow. I'm gonna throw all three of these up on the page so you can kind of see and compare them. but. This is just a traditional camping pillow. The difference with this is that it is filled with duck down. Um, this comes in at six ounces, so it's relatively almost, it's almost twice the weight, but still lighter than what I originally started with, let's not forget. And I'll be honest, I am really looking forward to testing this. 
Um, I just think this is going to give me that authentic pillow feeling that I've been trying to find with that those down feathers. And this um, all, you know, all these, obviously, they blow up or expand. So we'll get to that. But this is the REI pillow, and this is what I will be using coming up. So I'm excited for that. So let me do some quick snap magic and get all these set and I'll show you. Also, before I show you these all blown up, I must note, this isn't really so much of a review video, it's more of a video to sort of um, show the different pillow options that I've gone through. Maybe that will help you or someone you know that maybe has trouble sleeping outdoors. Maybe they're just not comfortable with it. Uh, I definitely think this down pillow though is kind of bridging that gap between comfort, uh, lightweight, and that authentic uh, pillow feeling. Um, so here I am, ready for bed. I can't really do this outside because it's cold out and I wanted to make a video today. So, I've got my dying plant here to represent the outdoors. So let's get to it. First, as I said, I had this army pillow. Let me show you what that looks like. It's pretty flat, um, it, you know, without folding it. But what I always did was did this right here. And that was an, just about enough and um, pretty comfortable. I could throw my arm underneath it and it was nice. It had that authentic pillow feeling. But again, kind of weighed a little bit. It's pretty old. Doesn't really compress at all. Didn't like it. This is the Cocoon one. Um, this being the lightest and this price, the price of this one I think comes in at uh, about $30 for this pillow. This is how it is. And it's not, you know, it's not terrible, but this material, you just like, this is what was happening all night. And this would like do that. It just, you know, and then I tried, tried letting air out of it. But then what would happen is you would, get this this dumb wave effect and it just wasn't comfortable so I used this pillow once and I had enough of it um, the next one is the sea to summit which blows up as well and this this one's comfortable it's okay like this it's not bad like that um, but it's like it's definitely a fantastic option. Um, I I do like it, but I just couldn't seem to get comfortable with it. And I feel like my neck is a little this way, and I don't really. I just I feel tension on my neck, and that cause me not to be able to fall asleep as quickly. Um, not like I go to sleep quickly at all. Um, and there, in fact, it takes me quite some time to calm down. But, you know, and that's why I was excited about the pillow I found today. Another really cool thing, though, about, about the Sea to Summit pillow is just like their sleeping pad, which I am on, it has the two plug system where you can push it and let out a little bit of air and I played with that and yeah that that lowers it down a little bit and like it's not it's not bad it's really not that bad but again just not that authentic pillow feeling um, but again for the weight pretty dang good um, and also the material on this doesn't slide around this is like a now, I'm not quite sure on the material, but it, it feels like an actual uh, pillowcase, you know. It, it feels good against the face. 
Um, and I actually, I don't know if you can tell, but that's curved right there. That That's nice. I like that feature because it kind of tucks in here. And you just kind of sleep like that. It's really not that bad. I really don't have that many bad things to say about it other than, in my opinion, it's just not that comfortable to me. So, this is the pillow that I just got from REI. Um, it kind of has that sil nylon material on this side, but then on this side, it kind of has that pillow case material on this side. Um, so this is what that looks like. And you can see, you know, it's, it's down and it packs into itself. And this is what this looks like. To me, this is just a much better feeling. Um, something I like to do is I like to throw my arm underneath like this and I can't do that with those air pillows. It raises it up too much, but this is like super comfortable. You know, it's pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. This is gonna work great with my hammock as well. So yeah, it weighs a little bit more, but it's pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie. I'm really excited to use it. And you know what, if I hate it, I'll update the video. So there you go. Um, anyway, um, some things coming up right now. It is February 17th. There's snow on that ground, it's pretty cold. I don't th have anything immediate planned as far as trips go. However, I am proud to say that, well, I can't really officially say yet, but hopefully we'll be doing the JMT um, come late August, September-ish. Uh, we have to apply for passes come this March. So that's exciting, looking forward to that. I've been going through different gear, modifying stuff, and kind of getting things ready for that. Plus, hopefully in the next month, take a trip somewhere um, as the weather starts to get nicer. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm really excited to uh, get into it all again uh, as the weather gets better. And Yeah, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think. Um, let me know your pillow options, what, you, uh, what you've discovered. Uh, let me know about different trips that you're going on. I'm always looking for different places to sort of explore and visit. Uh, like I said, nothing crazy coming up coming up right now, but I'm looking forward to 2016. So I'll talk to you guys later. I think I'm gonna take a nap. Uh, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, share. I don't really like that I just said that. I shouldn't have to ask you guys to do anything. I'm just going to cut that part out. Maybe I'll leave it in. I don't know. Either way. Jake out.